Join the conversation on Facebook and Twitter with Good Day Dakota. Well, 641, welcome back. The Cake Storm team loves getting in your weather photos. Last week, they noticed many of your photos captured the same cold weather phenomenon. Yeah, they're beautiful. Meteorologist Amber Wheeler is here to explain how frost is made and what makes hoar frost that you saw in all those pictures. That's this week's WeatherWise. Good morning, Amber. Well, Josh and Alicia, you know, we've been taught since we were kids that when ice melts, it becomes liquid. And when liquid water evaporates, it becomes a water vapor. But something that you may not see is when water vapor, it, the, basically water in its gas form, turns right into a solid and forms a structure right in front of your eyes. That's what frost is, moisture in the air turning straight into millions of ice crystals and forming on anything below freezing, which we know is almost everything this time of year. It's formed just like dew in the morning, but it's in the frozen form. Now, this photo was taken recently by Brad in Williston. He was just hanging out on his back porch with his dog, Brody. They're taking in the beautiful scenery that we get so much here in North Dakota in the winter. But here's what you need for that frost to form. You need moisture in the air, of course. We need a cold ground or a cold surface. And we need surface temperatures at freezing or below. Now, the actual air temperature doesn't have to be right at freezing. It can be just above. We can still get that frost with temperatures around 33 and 34 degrees. But with hoar frost, there's a lot more moisture in the air to work with. Now, you may remember last week we were really foggy. Now, that meant there was a lot of moisture in the air. Hoar frost forms like normal frost. It is frost, only the difference is all that moisture that we have available. Tiny ice crystals accumulate and they make larger and more picturesque structures. The interlocking ice crystals happen when the air is super saturated. And just like last week, a good indication of super saturated air is foggy conditions. And while it's beautiful, it can also be a nuisance, especially when scraping it off of your car and when it makes you late for work and school. But here's something to keep in mind. When the temperature falls to the mid 20s, and below. The frost is much harder to remove from your windshield than if it were in, say, the upper 20s to low 30s. The reason why is because the molecular bond is weaker in warmer ice. Of course, this time of year, we've got a lot of temperatures in the teens and single digits. The molecular structure is much stronger in colder ice, which makes it tough to remove. So you want to give yourself a little extra time when it's colder outside. That frost is not going to scrape off all that easily. Now, Josh and uh, Alicia, I have several more photos uh, from our viewers, the hoarfrost and beautiful frost photos that we've been getting in. I've got them on kxnet.com if you want to check them out. Well, they are just beautiful to look at. Yeah, and I don't think I've ever seen uh, this much hoarfrost ever in my life, I'm pretty yeah, sure. It's amazing. Thanks, Amber. Well, when we return on Good Day Dakota, we'll take you all the way up to 7 o'clock. Yeah, and we've got everything you need to know as